this area is on the north side of the house so it doesn't dry up very quickly anyway the rule of thumb is 48 hours if if ponding water exists 48 hours then it needs to be dealt with in the summertime it rains every day so that's next to impossible This is my initial evaluation. I'm using this opportunity uh, when I'm cleaning it to evaluate the depth. And I'm just using a series of straight edges, tape measure, and my slope tool just to try to get an idea where, where and what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm really looking for the absolute deepest places at this point because I want to I want to get this back to zero is my goal and then I can I can cover it up by just putting a larger piece I'm using the Lucas 115 detergent, which is what we use when we uh, do roof coatings to get rid of some of the uh, fungus and mildew algae that's built up. And what I did was use a yellow crayon to start marking out the places that were the deepest. And once I determine exactly what I'm going to do, that's when I can start cutting material. You'll notice here a second set of marks because I basically did the first and second application at, at one time. I also took a putty knife and just kind of scraped away anything that was flaking just to get any and all loose material away. Priming this first application, these are what I determine the absolute deepest places. And again, I'm trying to get everything back up to zero, so if there was a high spot, I don't want to cover that up more than once because in the next application, I'll cover it up and it'll be level, if you will. So this is where I've determined is the deepest places and also right next to high spots that I'm trying to get back to zero. So I'm filling them in and then the next application will be a little bit bigger pieces which will again fill in the deepest places and then the next deepest places. I'm letting the slope tool and the straight edges guide me into where I'm putting my material. So wherever I've put the material is where the straight edges and slope tools told me the deepest places were.
so we'll wait a few minutes and see what happens here. So now we're letting the water be the guide, and that's the ultimate guide. And after it drains off for a few minutes, I just trace around the places where there's water, and I can use my fingers to determine where the deepest places are. I'm just identifying the edges in the photos in case uh, my crayon goes away because I'm going to be back in about five days to actually do the second application because I want it to dry completely. I'd be waiting for several hours for it to dry in this time so it's better just to come back. Okay, so here we are on the second application. My crayon marks were still there and I just made them a little bit darker so I could see them. And again, just going right to the edge because all we're trying to do is bring it up to zero. We don't want to surpass that line or we'll just be mirroring what's already there. We want to fill in the low spots and not go any further. Still draining. So I'll let it drain for a few minutes. So it's just that. This is actually dry. I got a little bit of water here. Not much. So here we are on the third application, which I'm going to go ahead and do the fourth application along with it. And I'm just uh, getting everything marked out and cut before I start putting the roofing cement down. This is my final layer here. I just want to get it straight because this is what I'm leaving as my presentation, if you will, covering up all the, all the repair places where I filled in. Moment of truth here.
just letting the water pile up. I think we're good. It's already running off. I'm just going to turn it off and see what happens here. For the most part, it drained off. I can see a little place over there, but definitely less than an eighth inch deep. And it is still draining. Still got water dripping, so it's definitely still draining, which is promising. Yep, I see, I can see a little hill right there. I can see a little hill forming, which means it's even less. Definitely slowing down. So it's still dripping. I'm gonna go put my hose away and I'm gonna come back in five minutes. Alright, it's been five minutes and definitely better. You can see the shine. There's still a little bit of water dripping. So I'm gonna let another five minutes pass and check it out. All right, the drips have all but stopped now. Just a few, few drips. Okay, definitely an improvement. Definitely 95, if not 96 percent, it worked. Keep in mind, we started with a slope. There was already a slope of a quarter inch per foot on the deck. 